welcome back. This is Ann Seller and Jean Krebs from Greater Ohio again to talk to you about another aspect of Ohio's economy and our Restoring Prosperity to Ohio initiative. Um, one of the conversations that took place at our Restoring Prosperity Summit focused on transportation. And right now with the ODOT task force report being due on December 3rd, we thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to talk about transportation and some of the different areas that we can look at and the opportunities for conversation within that. Um, so like I said, the report is due on December 3rd, so we encourage everyone to get your comments in about the task force and contact the chair of the board to discuss this if you have comments you want in. So we're going to talk to Jean about just what are the opportunities in the transportation conversation and what we need to look at as all of this is coming up. So Jean, what are your thoughts on this? Well, thank you, Ann. Um, during the um, Restoring Prosperity Summit, one of the major areas that we discussed was transportation. I was on the panel for that. The room was literally standing room only. This is a huge topic. Everybody realizes this in Ohio. The initial key driver to go forward to understand the situation we're in with transportation in Ohio and why this is so relevant to restoring prosperity effort, where we're talking now more about targeting our investments. Yeah. That on Ohio, we have a history of we spread money, state money around like peanut butter on bread. Okay, why this has to stop is to look first is I want everybody who's looking at this blog to go look at the Ohio Department of Transportation website okay. and look at their 2008 2009 business plan. Okay. It's right there on it, and you need to read that, in my opinion, because it will it will help you understand the financial situation the Ohio Department of Transportation is in. It will, in theory, start to go into the red sometime spring of 2009. Okay. And their numbers are they are forecasting a 3.5 billion dollar deficit by the year 2015. Okay. So if, if, so if you ever have the privilege of going into Senate President Bill Harris's office, he has the um, uh, Chinese symbols up there for you know, uh, you know, opportunity. And okay. It comes from you know, change and you know, everything like that. And so there's some tremendous opportunities we think going on with bringing about a new dialogue, a new direction, a new way to look at this. But, by the way, that $3.5 billion structural deficit ODOT is calling for okay. is under the moderate expectations. Wow. Okay. That was not before certain other things came into play. Yeah. Um, for example, some of the research that we've done here at Greater Ohio says that you know, we're all very much aware about gasoline costs and everything in Ohio. Yes, it's down. The economy's down. You can see how this is playing out. If you ever think the economy is going to go up again, means that the price of gasoline will go up again. And when that happens, in Ohio, the Ohio Department of Transportation is funded by the federal gasoline tax, okay. which is 18 cents, and Ohio is 28 cents. Wow. So as you move forward, think about everybody, you know, nationally, um, gasoline consumption is down. That also means that the Ohio Department of Transportation's revenues are going down, more so than what they even called for in the 2008-2009 business plan. Oh, wow. So when you look at this, you know, in this, in this environment of we're going to, we, we no longer have the luxury of spreading money around like peanut butter. Where are we going to target? That's where we think this now has it. You need to look at the ODOT budget. So in, in, in future videos, we can talk more about transportation. transportation and how we see this playing out some more. Yeah, we can get those charts too. If you go to our blog, we'll put the charts up on, um, on our blog so you can see ODOT's projected plan and, and funding and whatnot too. So, well, we'll come back with you with more conversation about transportation.